Hello and welcome back to the Security Kitchen. My name's Ken. We're going to be looking at exploiting hardware vulnerabilities in early um, iPhones. Now, I've got my iPhone here. It's an iPhone 4. First thing you need to do is get into what's called DFU mode. And you do that by holding down the power button and the home button. You'd hold it down for about 10 seconds. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or so. Then we release the power button but hold the home button down. I've actually got it connected to my Mac over here. Let's wait for it to go. See if it's going to get into DFU mode. And there we go. So we've now got this into DFU mode, which is a good start. Now, this is going to take about 60 seconds to run, so I'll just explain what's going on here. Now, this is an iPhone 4, not a 4S, and the problem with this is there are hardware issues with it. It doesn't matter if it's on the latest iOS version, but because it's old, there are bugs in the hardware, that's what we can exploit. So if you have an iPhone 4, frankly, you shouldn't really be using it to put any sort of personal data on there, maybe browse the internet or something. Um, but if you've got an old one, News here is starting to actually boot up. You can see it on the screen okay there. There we go. We're starting to get some, our custom boot ROM image being loaded. That's actually what that's doing is popping on uh, a bit like a live Linux distribution. It's, it's loading into our own operating system so we can touch and start reading and writing from the installed operating system without it running. So a bit like trying to reset the password on a, um, uh, maybe a, a Windows laptop. So just need to wait for that to go through. We're going to get some hex come up. You see, there we go. Right, and now we can start doing some cool stuff. So now we've got our custom RAM disk running, what we need to do is have, have a look at the keychain, see if we can try and crack the, um, the pin. So we're going to use a tool over here, Python Brute Force, and that's now going to go through and try, if you see there, it's actually working as well, it's trying to brute force all the pins. So it's going to start nice and slowly. Actually, I've set this pin up so it should be pretty quick to get, shouldn't take very long. We're going to go for four-digit passcodes. Now, of course, the obvious thing here is if it's a four-digit passcode, it's going to be easy to get. So, Number one lesson is make sure your password is nice and long. There we go. You see, we've now managed to crack the, um, the passcode, and now we're in. So the next place we're going to go is see what, you know, what's useful, what can we get from there. And we're going to run this script over here, which is another simple Python, um, Python tool, Python script, which actually goes through and starts messing around with the keychain. And there we go. Well, now we've got massive amounts of information coming back from the keychain. So we're looking at certificates, passwords, everything we need to really mess up your life. So resolution is these. If you've got an iPhone 4 or earlier, upgrade it, get a new one, and make sure you factory wipe anything like this before you even consider selling it. If you've got any old devices knocking around your desk, get them wiped now, just in case they get broken into and stolen. So, final piece of advice, nice long pins, please.